Hey everyone, welcome to this, your next installment of the Golden Gate Tech Talk series. This is your source for informative and timely tech topics about Golden Gate software, data replication, and cloud data integration. The industry-leading data replication software for more than 20 years, Golden Gate is still innovating today and helping thousands of leading brands get the most business value out of their data. As a multi-cloud capable replication engine, Golden Gate helps customers maintain seamless integration across their public clouds. But what makes Golden Gate really special is the breadth and attention to enterprise class solutions for databases, cloud, big data, NoSQL, and streaming technologies of all kinds, not just Oracle. Golden Gate's rock solid foundation is the best in class for data high availability, high speed transaction replication, and data warehouse loading. But modern data challenges require the most innovative solutions and Golden Gate delivers on world-class data lake congestion, stream data processing for real-time ETL, and advanced stream analytics that include geofencing, time series processing, and machine learning integrations. As a platform for modern data integration, Golden Gate just can't be beat. Well, that's about it for the intro. Let's get on with today's tech topic. Hi, everyone. This video will explain how to set up and use the sample applications that come with Oracle Stream Analytics on OCI Marketplace. Previously, in the video preceding this, Thomas Vengel showed us a step-by-step -step example of how to select and provision the Stream Analytics Marketplace image in less than five minutes. Now, let's pick up where he left off. Notice the public IP address in this screen. We'll use that to navigate over to the main Oracle Stream Analytics application screens to get started. Okay, let's hand it back to Thomas. I have my password from the readme.txt so I'll just copy that and use the username as OSA admin and give this password and click sign in so this opens up the default home page of the Oracle Golden Gate Stream Analytics and this home page shows some sample exam sample demos that are um, available for you to understand or if you need to demo it um, how um, an end-to-end -end solution can be built using oracle stream analytics so there are six different uh, industry solutions that we have here for demo uh, first one is an IoT device, basically um, IoT device uh, monitoring and um, usage. Um, so this is about some vending machines uh, management. The second one is risk and fraud management from the financial industry. The third one is how you can uh, uh, track assets in, f in the fleet uh, and how you can improve your supply chain efficiency um, in uh, logistics business. The fourth one is a customer experience and consumer analytics. Here you can monitor your customer sentiment and uh, you know improve the loyalty and make some better offers to attract customers in real time. The fifth one is a telecommunication network monitoring and uh, predictive analytics, how we can predict the network failures and uh, identify any DDoS um, attacks that are happening on your network. And the last but not the least, it's a retail industry solution. Um, this is a unique uh, solution where we have uh, implemented a machine learning algorithm uh, so that you can uh, identify and offer uh, the best offers to uh, the right customers in the right time. Okay, so moving on to the other configurations. So here um, you can click on to the uh, icon here, uh, OSA admin. Um, so first you can click the system settings and see how it is configured. So the Kafka and Zook Keeper connection is configured on this uh, uh, localhost 2181 port and it is configured as a Spark standalone runtime. You can configure it as a YAN configuration also or um, um, you could configure with a specific um, Sparkrest URL. Storage is available as web HDFS or standard HDFS or NFS. And uh, here we have configured as NFS and we have specified the file path as U01, app OSA deployment pipelines, and the Spark standalone master console port is 443. And Spark master username uh, is Spark admin. So if you remember, 
uh, I've shown you in the console. Um, you can see the password for this account um, in this console. The other configurations are, you know, your pipeline, what should be a batch duration, how many executors you should provide for your Spark executor, how many cores you should um, execute, execute a memory, and all the other um, uh, infrastructure settings. If you need to access through a HTTP proxy, uh, you can configure that as well. Uh, Kafka configuration default, how many partitions per topic, and what is the replication factor per topic. And if you're using Golden Gate um, integration, you can say that, okay, when you should start your work, should you start from begin or um, the begin should start from now or it should be in a uh, in a position from the log. And um, you can also uh, use um, or add users in this particular user management console. So I can create a user called as Thomas Thomas and then um, uh, you know create a user and save it. Additionally, you can also have um, additional preferences like what are the language settings, uh, notifications you'd like to get it, um, how do you want the catalog uh, configuration, should it be default um, recent or it should be based on the name, and how many would you like to have, um, you know, I would change from 10 to 25, and um, you know, how should the pipeline look like, and the live output, how big should it be? Timestamp, format, and as well as maps. So we support multiple maps. The default is location. Um, you can configure Google Maps if you have a Google account, or else it'll show up as um, you know a free version. I'll select Open Street Map Tiles layer and click Save. Now I'll um, click on the catalog. So in this catalog, it's an empty catalog. There is nothing created here. And if I click on the patterns, it will show the various different patterns that are available uh, in the Oracle Stream Analytics. So a lot of these uh, patterns are built it over a period of time with our uh, learnings and expertise um, in building um, you know, specific streams. So I could say that, okay, I want to have an eliminate duplicate, duplicate pattern, and I say, I could specify the name and I could specify a stream and then specific patterns uh, to be automatically configured. Since we don't have any of those objects created, um, it's completely empty. So we'll go back to the home and um, I'll select distributed intelligence for IoT as in solution and I'll click import. And this will be um, imported in less than few seconds, and uh, and you can see that the resources were imported successfully. Now, if I go to the catalog, I will be able to see all my resources that were created um, for this uh, demo. And um, as you see, each of these are different um, type of uh, resources. This is for visualization. Um, error count by type is a visualization. Local Kafka is a connection to Kafka. <clears throat> and local MyDB is a generic my data, generic database connection. Machine details is a database table, and malfunctioning is a, um, a machine average temperature is average temperature of malfunctioning of the machine as visualization. And uh, you know several of those um, uh, connections and visualizations. So now what we are interested is um, we'll see how um, how to build a complete pipeline. Um, so just before that, I'll see, okay, how we, can you create a connection to Kafka? So this connection to Kafka is al already created. And you can see that, you know, there's a local Kafka um, connection and connection type is Kafka. And the connection details um, is specified as local um, host. And, um, you know, the name is also specified. So I can test a connection from here. It'll show as successful. And I can save this. And now I'll open up my pipeline. So the pipeline uh, management is, you know, vending machine management is a complete pipeline. So the vending machine use case is, you know, you have all the vending machine details that is coming from, a, um, you know, the backend database. 
and my real-time vending machine stream uh, is sending me the data from each of those machines. Uh, machine ID, what is the error code, error description, data value, temperature level, inventory level, and light status uh, is whether on or off. And the machine data, machine details is a static data that I uh, uh, that I get from my, um, you know, static uh, data. So, so I'm what I'm going to do here is I'm going to blend these two data or uh, merge these two data um, from vending machine stream as well as uh, uh, machine details. So you can see what is shown here in the green is from vending machine stream and what is shown in orange is from machine details. And uh, we can also have user defined uh, configurations. So that will be shown in white. Say for example, here replenish is a, a user defined um, column. And the real-time uh, streaming data is now flowing into this application, and you can see that uh, you know the, the data is continuously flowing in. And um, now that I have um, data from the vending machine and also the master data that is coming from the machine details, I have two use cases that is in this pipeline. The first one is I want to see whether there are any issues in the vending machines, any errors in the vending machines. Vending machine's errors could be it is not calling uh, cooling well, or it has got uh, some other error statistics, right? Um, so I would like to look for the error specifically, and I have a filter here saying that okay, I have get vending machine details with a filter of error code not equal to zero. That means that it's got some error, and um, I am going to filter that. So I filtered that and then send it to the uh, two different pipelines. The first one is not cooling. So this um, error code is greater than 40. So it will um, send a notification to the uh, maintenance team as an alert with all the details. Or um, it would also, and it, and it would also um, you know, calculate the average temperature of this machine, right? It's not cooling. So um, that would be the other pipeline. And uh, here in the error uh, VMs, it'll um, log the details in the error uh, stats. So that's one pipeline. The other pipeline is, you know, if the 80% of um, maximum inventory is not there, you need to send an out, out an automatic alert to the uh, replenishment team. So what it does is, you know, it looks for a filter of specific um, uh, condition and um, getting the vending machine details and send replenish rules um, saying that, okay, if the inventory level is lower than or equal to 80% of the maximum inventory, then set replenish to yes and send it to the um, replenish um, uh, node. So uh, in this stage, um, you can see that you'll get only data that is with the inventory level um, low and um, and it'll be sent to replenish alert team with all the details and it'll also um, you know store all the uh, replenish uh, status uh, as a latest status so this is a complete pipeline what i need to do now is i need to publish this pipeline so i click on the publish uh, and now it'll ask for my runtime settings so i'll say my increase my executor count to two and uh, course per executor is four and I publish it. Now let's go back to the catalog. So you can see that the pipeline is published and we'll go back to the catalog and now you'll see a different um, you know icon altogether saying that you know the vending machine is running. So what do I do? need to do next. Now I have a dashboard so that I can look at the dashboard uh, in real time. So I click on my dashboard. It'll take a couple of seconds to load. Okay, now that um, you know the um, um, dashboard is finished loading, it's a multi-tile um, dashboard. So you can see that you know the data is um, uh, getting constantly loaded into the uh, dashboard and uh, the, the data uh, value changes constantly 
uh, with respect to the um, um, uh, data that is coming from the various different uh, vending machine. So you can see that some of the vending machine uh, CPUs are running hot. Uh, there are some uh, uh, jam coin error counts. Um, you know, you can see where the um, machines are located. So in the map, you can zoom in and identify where the machines are located. And um, so, you know, a mouse over it will show you the actual details. Uh, replenishes no. And, uh, you know, what is the error code? Uh, vending door open indicator is having some issues or, um, you know, some other machine. Similarly, you know, malfunctioning by uh, machine average temperature or error count by city. You can see that, you know, there are some issues in specific cities or um, specific business where you have deployed. Uh, you can see those details um, in real time. And you can see that in all these uh, information is constantly changing uh, in real time. So this way you could, um, um, you know, run your vending machine management business um, in a real time mode by replenishing or whether it is, um, you know, managing the errors um, for, um, for a specific location or a machine. Okay, so that um, completes my quick demo on provisioning a Golden Gate Stream Analytics on the um, OCA Marketplace. Okay, thank you. Hey everyone, thanks again for tuning in to this edition of the Golden Gate Tech Talk series. Be sure to check out all the other cool tech talks that are out there and stay tuned for more as they become available.